Hello, games, fans. Yes, we're on. Hello, games, fans, and Grail Games aficionados and lovers of fine games and people who play games. I'm going to show you how to play the Garden solo. Now, this is on Kickstarter right now. Um, well, as I record, if you see this later, it's not. But maybe you can pick up a copy of the game anyway. Um, I'm going to do this on Tabletopia just because for me currently at home this is the best way to show the game without fancy tripods and microphones and so on so I apologize for that um, what I've got down here is um, the scoreboard in the middle of the of the what's the called a screen um, now by the way these are gonna have no language when the final game is done where we've replaced these with icons but what these seven tiles are, are the basic scoring tiles that I'll be using in this game just to show you how solo works. But I've just got to let you know that this statue uh, scoring is wrong. This, this is going to be replaced with a new solo way to score statues. But during the game, you'll be scoring trees in two different ways with this setup during the game and at the end of the game. Fountains, benches, and at the end of the game, the trees, streams, pathways, and the statues. I'll go through all this in a minute, and we'll track the score here. Now, to win the solo game, you have to get at least 100 points, uh, which is two laps of the board. I've played this game many, 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 many times. I've won three times, so it's a bit of a challenge. But that's with these tiles. Uh, if you change these scoring tiles out, it can get harder, easier. And if you play with the um, landmarks, which I'm not going to be playing with today, here are the other scoring tiles. These landmarks uh, make the game easier So if, for solo. So if you want to play the solo game and win more often, you can add these in. Uh, I might be able to show you those at a later date, but right now I just wanted to show you how solo plays. As it's a stretch goal, we've unlocked and go away, what am I doing? Okay, so to play solo, you need to draw two cards from each deck, which I've already shuffled. I'll flip the two cards for each deck that I've got. These two cards must be placed at the top row of my board, these two in the middle, these two at the bottom, but in solo, I only get to choose one of the two that I draw each time, and the other one gets thrown away. So. This is interesting. In a normal game, I am weighing up what I want compared to what other people want because they're likely to steal things I want and I'm likely to steal things they want, you know. But in solo, uh, it's up to me the order I take things. So let me have a, just a quick thing. I think I'm going to leave the bench for now. I'm going to take this. Now, two trees is better than one, but this has a pathway which may help me later on. So I'm going to take this card, and it has to go in the top row. Now for me, first move, it doesn't really matter which side I place it of my central board. It has to just go in the next available spot either side of the central board. I place it, then my visitor goes for a walk to that card. And whatever the visitor sees on that card determines what I'm going to score. In this case a tree, because paths only score at the end of the game. So just as a reminder, trees, you score one, three, six, or ten points for seeing one, two, three, or four matching trees. I saw one tree, that is one point. If I could just figure this out. Yes, so one point, and we are on the way. This is now dead to me. Goodbye. Now that would have got me three points for seeing two trees the same, but it didn't have a pathway. Let's have a look here. Um, yeah. I'll just take this, I think. This pathway won't connect to anything I've got so far because on the central board the middle space doesn't have a, a, a path coming across. So do I put it there? No! That's going to block my path and my stream. I'm going to put it here on this side. The visitor will walk to it. I'm going to score fountains. Fountain score for uh, one point for every stream that the visitor saw on their walk they saw one stream. So that's one point again. But don't worry, dear listener, I'm on the way to 100 points, I hope. That is now dead to me. All right, benches and statues. Now benches, you score one point for every adjacent card, orthogonally or diagonally adjacent, when you place that bench. If I was to put that bench, I can't figure out my cameras. Uh, it's gotta go down the bottom here. If I put it here, 
I would get one, two points by looking at the circle of cards around it. If I put it on this side, I'd get one, two, three points. But what was the other card? A statue. I'm going to take this statue for two reasons. The first reason is, even though it blocks a path down here, blocks that path, the, step, the visitor walks to the card, it continues this stream, and streams are worth <laughs> two points at the end of the game if you've got a two card stream, th five points for a three card stream. So I've got at least two points there. But it's also got a statue on it. Now statues in the solo game play like this. This card is wrong. Uh, as I said, we haven't mocked it up. Mocked it? We have mucked it up. We haven't mocked it up. What it hap what happens in the solo game is you lose 10 points at the end of the game for each row that does not have a statue. And because there's only like 15 statues in the whole deck of each row, I've got to take it in the solo game when I can. So this gives me no points right now because streams and statues are end of the game, but I don't have to worry about my bottom row now for statues. That's it, I finished round one with two points. But never fear, dear listener, I'm on the way to greatness and glory, walking through Sydney's Royal Botanic Garden, just like everyone who does so. Let's flip the next ones over. All right, interesting. More trees, more streams, benches, fountains. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to take this tree. I don't have to start at the A row, but it's just easy. I'm going to take this tree, put it there. No, never. Put it over here. Continue my path. Now the visitor saw one, two trees on this walk, but they're different. So this is just counting counted as one matching tree for another point. This one's gone. Uh, do I really want another stream? Could go there or here. Maybe two trees would be nicer, I think. Bench. I think I'm going to take, you'll see. I'm going to take this fountain, put it here. Look at this. Remember I said fountains, like I had one here. You score for each stream you see on the walk when you stop at a fountain. Well, here's one stream, two streams, or a pond, the same thing. Boom, two points. No comments in this. No comments in the comments below about how a stream and a pond are the, not the same thing, please. All right, let's take this double tree for three points. Do I put it there? Maybe I'm just going to put it here because it makes no difference. If I put it here, I'd still get three points for seeing two trees the same as if I go over here, but I'm gonna leave this space open to connect the pathways for the end of the game. So two bottle brush trees, that's three points. See, I'm getting better. That round was more. That is gone. Let's draw two more cards. So in the solo game, you draw two, pick one. It means that you go through the deck quicker than um, if you drew four and kept one, for example. But it makes the choice really tasty because this card that I'm not taking is gone forever. Now I've got a statue, so I don't need this. This one I think I'm just going to take before it's too late. Uh, but that blocks my path. That was the whole point. Could put it over here, I guess. No points? That's not ideal at all. Um, but I save myself losing 10. Now I've got two streams. I might as well take the one with the tree for a point. Ah, oh, I forgot. It's going to finish this stream anyway. Perfect. Unfortunately, it means my pathway is really only on this side of the board. But what are you going to do? Come over. Saw one matching tree, the canary palm, for one point. Wait. Hey, I just want to show you something though. You might think one, 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 what was the point? Get trees are the same, doofus. Well, it's because, look at the end game score. If I could get my cameras to work, where's the scoreboard? End game scoring for trees, it's the same as scoring in game with this tile. One, three, six, or 10 points. But this time at the end of the game, it's for, it's for each row that has one, two, three, or four different types of trees. So I might not be making a lot of points on trees in game on this row, but end game definitely am. That is dead to me. Statue or fountain, let's have a look at my board. If I put a fountain here, like if I walked here, I'd see no streams, so that's a bit of a waste. If I put it over here, I'd see two streams again for two points. I 
guess that's the best thing to do right now. Because I, I don't know. I don't really need the statue, do I? Not in solo. So we'll get two points. One stream, two streams. Pond is the same as a stream. There we go, two points. I'm at 11 points now, boys and girls. Rejoice. Here come my next choices. There's uh, 30 cards, 32 in each deck. I've forgotten. But you won't see them all in a solo game. No way, Jose. All right. Oh, more fountains for downstairs. That's that's a bit stressful. But, you know, this one, I think, I'll just take it now, has a path that will help me. Yeah, connect the path. I'm going to see two points again. One, two, streams. I've really got to get um, some more streams down there. Two points. So that's gone. Bench or stream? Bench or stream? Let's have a look down here. I don't want to go over here yet. It's, I'm dead ended. So I'd have to go here and all that time waiting for a pathway that connects isn't going to happen. I'm going to take the bench though because it's going to score me quite well uh, for a bench. So put it there. Walk to the bench. And how many cards are connected to it? Wow, almost the royal sampler. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The most you can get with this is eight. Seven points. I'm finally going strong. So now, I think I want this. The paths are more, you know, all over the place. Another tree. I know that would get me at least one point, but this tree is going to get me more, I think. Let's go over here, continue the pathway. And look, I see one, two canary palms. When you see two matching trees, you score three points on that walk. Great, here we go. Next round. I don't like the look of this, to be honest. I'm nowhere near 100 points. I'm not even at 50. But uh, maybe I'm not playing optimally because I'm talking to you, dear listeners. It's all your fault. Do I want red tree in a stream or a bench? I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Red tree in a stream. Well, the stream's not going to go anywhere if I put it here. And if I put it here, I've just dead-ended myself, which isn't ideal. I think maybe the fountain. Was it a fountain that I could get? No, a bench. A bench would get me one, two, three, four points. Maybe that's the best option. Even though I really want that tree. Oh, well. Three points now. Okay. Maybe more later. More red trees, the better. Da, 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 da. I get one, two, three, four points. Note to self, put the cameras in number order next time so you don't keep going to the wrong one. Statue. I've already got a statue in the middle from memory. Yes. Hey. Oh, I don't have a jacaranda. I think I'm taking that. What about down here? Fountain or canary palm? Both have a stream. Remember that. Fountain or canary palm. Which one do I want? Let's put this here. Connect the paths. It happened. Just one column over. Go for a walk. See one purple tree for one point. Yeah. I'm getting closer to 50. So what was it? There's no paths on this. So they're actually exactly the same. It's just whether you want a fountain. I'd go past two. I think I'm going to go for the tree. I've been getting a lot of points for the fountains down there. But endgame scoring. I really want some trees down here too. There the stream's dead ended. If I put it here, same difference really. I'll just put it here. That's one lovely point. All right, we must be past halfway. Let's go. Woof, finally, statue for the top row. I am giving up a lot of points though. Because those two bottle brush trees, I'd have three. So if I went on a walk and saw three of them, what's that? Three trees, that's six points. Yikes. Do I really want to leave that? But see, if I don't get another statue, I lose 10. I lose 10. 
Gain at least six or lose ten. I'll have two more chances to get statues. Oh no. <laughs> I think I have to take the statue, but it's not ideal. This stream will also be um, unbeautifully disconnected from everything. Oh well, let's see. That might bite me in the butt later. Okay, same card, handy. Do I jack around? Now, this is interesting. If I take the purple jacaranda, I'll get an extra point. If I get this, I'm, so, no, I'd get... If I saw two purple trees, I'd get three points. But if I see this, I'd only score one. But for the end of the game, I'll just do it. It's uh, more points for the end of the game. Got a two-card stream. That's good. So what's that one point for seeing the palm? Let me just say, I think I'm going to regret this round. I really think getting those two red trees may have been a better move. And maybe another jacaranda purple tree may have been a better move there. We'll see. I've now got three trees in that row that are different for end games. I think that'll work out in the wash. Oh, you go back up the top. Okay. Oh, yeah. Handy dandy. Same difference again. Wait. I've already got palm trees, so I'd see three of them for six points. But this one's three points, and then more endgame points. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not doing that well on the board, so I'm gonna just hedge all my bets on endgame scoring, I think. I'll just put it over here. It would have been good to join that path, but this is clearly gonna be my best path. So I saw two golden wattle trees for three points. I'm at 33. <laughs> and, and wait, I've got two rounds left to get to 100. <sighs> Solo is difficult, but you want it to be difficult, right? You want it to be a challenge, so you play again and again. And if, if you don't like a challenge, adding those landmarks I was talking about makes the game easier because you can earn straight points and get special abilities. Hmm. Well, I've got all my statues, so I might as well just forget that now. Uh, this stream is not going to really help me at this point, I don't think. I mean, I could start another stream. Hmm. Bench. Red tree. Red tree. Oh, red tree. I have to go red tree. And maybe I'll get a stream later on. Go on down here. Going over here just so that I could put it over here, but I'd only get one point for that walk. I'd only see one red bottle brush over here. Walk to that tree. I'm gonna see three. Oh, what a beautiful trees! Oh, what a beautiful tree! That's three trees for six points. Three the same. One, two, three, four, five, six. And suddenly my score's looking a lot better. So, oops, sorry about that, dear listeners. So let's just put this here before I forget. And, oh, we could use it up here. Duh. How awesome. And going for these endgame points is actually help because I can see I've got the royal sampler, the four focal trees in that row. That's going to be a lot of points in a game. But right now that's only one. 40 points. Okay, it's just about the path, isn't it? Let's go have a look at my scoreboard. Well, the paths are nowhere to be seen. Oof. If I go here, the bench will give me an extra point, but it blocks that stream. So we'll just take this one. Actually, maybe they could link up. You never know. See, maybe they could link up that pathway over there. Let's walk to the bench. What a long walk. You need a breast. I get just two points for that for having two adjacent cards. Is this now the last turn? Yes it is. Hope you've enjoyed this game dear listeners as much as I've enjoyed it. What's that from? I think it's Monty Python. If you've enjoyed this game half as much as I, then I've enjoyed it twice as much as you. No, I don't know what that's from. Stream! Oh, what? There's no bottom stream. That's annoying. Okay, well speaking of the bottom, do I want palm or bottle brush? Palm would get me more points now, but bottle brush later. 
and I'm sort of really hedging my bets on that endgame scoring. This will get me three points though anyway. What a long walk for three points. I see two red trees on my walk on the last card, so I get three points. I'm on 45. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, top stream, don't really need it. Oh, actually, I could get a. I could do that combo and build a stream that way. Let's think though. Maybe this is better for me? Oi! Yes, definitely, because then I'd get the whole royal sampler for trees on this row as well. I think that's better than uh, two thirds of a stream or a pond. So let's put this down here. Go for a long walk, get three points for seeing two matching trees. I'm almost halfway, I'm almost at 50. Not good. So I'll just go for the bench because that stream won't connect to anything for me right now. See, I left the bench for last so that I get another point. That's three cards adjacent to that bench. Let's, yay, one, two, three, I've crossed halfway. Before we do endgame scoring, check it out. There's my finished garden. Isn't it pretty? I want to take a photo of that, but I won't. All right, I've got 49 points to get to win. This Ibis is looking decidedly smug. It's not looking good. So these are the four ways to score um, at the end of the game. Score one, three, six, or 10 points for each row of cards with one, two, three, or four different trees. And I've been secretly admiring this. I've got one, two, three, four different trees on that row. One, two, three, four different trees on that row. One, two, three on that row. Wow, 10 points, 10 points, six points. I know that, that's 26 points. So wait, I'm on one, so that means I'd go to 27. <gasps> Suddenly it's looking good, dear listener. Oh my goodness. Okay, streams. Two points for each uh, water body made of two. Five points for each full length. Let's go. Two, two, and a five. So what's that? Five plus four. Let's do th one, two, three, four, five plus four. One, two, three, four. Th I'm at 86 points. Can I get to 100? I'm going to leave the pathways. Let's go to the statue. So this will be lose 10 points in the solo game for each row without a statue. But I know I did it. I got one, two, three statues. I mean, one in each row. So I lose no points. It's lucky I took them when I did. I only saw four, maybe five statues in that whole game. And losing 10 points at this stage would not have been good. So now we're up to the pathways. I'm, not, I'm worried. One point for each pathway card in your largest network of paths. Can I get to 14 points? One. Let's use my meeple guy. Okay, go on a walk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirty-six, forty-six, forty-seven, I am at 97 points, three less than a winning score. Oh. And that's how you play the garden solo. You can mix and match these scoring tiles to make it easier or harder. This is the basic game and I failed. But thank you, dear listener. I hope you enjoyed that. Please back the gardens on Kickstarter. And for now, bye-bye.